That's a scene from It Chapter 2, the sequel to the 2017 horror film that was a hit with critics and audiences alike. It's just one of the many new films opening in theaters over the next few months. And here with a preview is Owen Gleiberman, chief film critic for Variety magazine. Owen, you're the man with all the answers. Let's, <laughs> let's start with It Chapter 2. Well, they haven't shown most of these films to us, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing this one. Um, Why was the first one such a big hit? Well, you know, it's funny. It, people love that Stephen King novel, mm -hmm. and the first movie had kind of a Stranger Things vibe. Right. But at the same time, um, I think these movies have become like Freddy Krueger movies, mm -hmm. and Pennywise <laughs> the Clown is the new Freddy, yeah, and I right. think that's the hook. Uh, in the new one, the Losers Club is all grown up, and now they're played by people like James right. McAvoy and Jessica Chastain. Um, that sounds good to me because those are tremendously actors. exciting actors. Yeah. But basically, I think this yeah. movie is going to be, you know, just about the hugest movie of the fall, and that's because it's the new Freddy. How new about Downton Abbey, which was so huge for people to watch now on the big screen? What can we expect? Yeah. Well, I'm really excited to see this series coming back. Um, I mean, look, I have faith in this movie because it's written by Julian Fellows, who basically created the series. And in some ways, he spun Downton Abbey out of um, the movie that he wrote for Robert Altman in 2001 called Gosford Park. Oh, I remember yes. that Which was a great, was a great movie. movie. Yeah. And look, the whole masterpiece theater genre, as we think of it, has kind of hopped back and forth between it started as a television and then it became Merchant Ivory Films. And then the genre kind of faded and came back with Downton Abbey. So it makes sense to me. It feels right that Downton Abbey now becomes a movie. And of course, this one brings back just about all the cast members. Right. And uh, the King and Queen are yep. coming to the estate. Visit. That's right. Uh, Brad Pitt, uh, currently on screen in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Quentin Tarantino's. Mm -hmm. He has this fall the sci-fi epic Ad Astra. What is Ad Astra about? Ad Astra is a kind of big, ambitious, big serious movie. outer space movie in which Brad Pitt plays an astronaut who is sent to Neptune to retrieve <laughs> his father, who went on a mission and disappeared like 30 years before. The father's played by Tommy Lee Jones. And I'm excited to see this movie because Brad Pitt is really having a moment. A lot of people think yeah, he right. could win the Oscar for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I think he deserves to, and I think he well could. He's one of my favorite actors, and so... I'm glad to see Brad Pitt in a, a big, ambitious space movie. Never bad to look at. That's it. right. Well, we also <laughs> have a, a Martin Scorsese film called The Irishman. Mm -hmm. Tell us more. Well, I think uh, anybody who loves Martin Scorsese movies and who does it is excited about seeing The Irishman. Um, it's the talk on this movie is that it's his big, kind of very serious summing up of the mob genre. And it's which, De Niro of course, and Pesci are back owns. at it. That's right. Uh, De Niro plays. Uh, you know, it's a reality-based drama. Uh, De Niro plays uh, a hitman who uh, works for Joe Pesci, and Al Pacino who has, believe it or not, never worked with Scorsese before, plays Jimmy Hoffa. And this is a movie about how Jimmy Hoffa ended up being assassinated, very possibly by the mob. It's three hours long. It's a Netflix movie, and there's a whole drama off screen about where this movie is going to play, how well, much is it going to play in Netflix theaters. Netflix streaming or in theaters. We don't know, right? That's now. right. We don't know. It's being hammered out. But I think that a lot of people want to see this movie in theaters, so we'll see. It We'll see what happens. More people in Detroit are going to the Moccas Red Fox to find out if uh, he, Hoffa is buried there. <laughs> a, a historical epic, uh, Tubman, is coming out about Harriet Tubman. That's right. Well, it's sort of astonishing to think that we haven't had a major movie about Harriet Tubman. But as Hollywood becomes more and more sensitive to issues of diversity, these kinds of stories that must be told now can be. And um, this is a very exciting-looking, large-scale drama about how Harriet Tubman escaped from slavery and then helped hundreds of slaves escape as well. Executive producer, African-American woman, woman uh, Deborah Chase, uh, lead actor, Cynthia Revo, mm -hmm. and also director, Casey Lemons. It's, That's right. It's huge. Who made Eve's Bayou. Yes, And yes. Um, is getting a chance to tell this story, which is fantastic. And okay, the Mr. Rogers movie. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta, Tom Hanks. Gotta get the Mr. <laughs> Rogers movie right. Tom, Tom Hanks is yeah. Mr. Rogers. Yeah, well... That's all you need to say, right? <laughs> um, last year, there was, um, uh, you know, the terrific documentary about Mr. Rogers, and this is kind of based on that. Um, it's about how, it's about his relationship with a journalist based on Tom Juno. And um, who doesn't want to see Tom Hanks play Mr. Rogers? I, and I feel like I we all do. We want to see him. That is, as you said, enough said. Yeah. Owen Gleiberman, thank you so much for the fall movie preview.